by the marshes of tantramar by mary electa adams read for LibriVox.org by larry wilson recollection evening is falling with a star i wander lonely and afar down by the marshes of tantramar the broad red west like a furnace glows and the wind like a titan's bellows blows till one could not tell if it burned or froze wide reaches the strand of thundy's bay a gleam with the sinking light of day as the tide wave spent it rolls away a timbered bridge with shadows black and spans awry an ancient rack i cross it over the turbid track the gurgling growl of the muddy tide creeps up by the bridge's leaning side and a sound like the voice of one who cried turns the spectral bridge to a haunted tower where the bravest heart would be like to cower if he chanced that way at a darker hour the grasses are moving to and fro where the wild geese cackled long ago and the frenchman builded his aboiteau from up where the rivers rushed so brave twixt the red-lipped shores the tidal wave comes crawling back to its ocean grave. Reflection I muse on the life that has no stay. With a steadfast look it is here and away, and whither it goes I cannot say. The years and the sea and the star are the same, and the broad red west hath been often aflame, but it standeth still in the mighty frame o oh, eye that can see through the eons dim through the realms of space to the farthest rim where the universe stretches filled to the brim o oh, ear that can hear the gurgling tide and the music of stars in the spaces wide almighty behold doth aught abide i listen i fear i fall on my face the darkness is coming with silence apace o oh, who can the shadows and mystery chase recall bow lowly o spirit bow low in the dust shall the coming of changes invade with distrust but lowly what folly to think that it must what folly it shames me to round it in with sense the limitless work of omnipotence or fear for the changes that bear us hence what wouldst thou through earth and the heavens to plod the universe changeless would be but a clod and change is the name of the working of god end of poem this recording is in the public domain alone by mary alexa adams read for LibriVox.org by christine g the sunlight through the open door comes in and streams along the floor the slant rays of falling august sun well nigh throughout its sultry circuit run and hushed is every sound of breeze or leaf or bird save the low trill of insects past the lattice heard in the dry grass as the hours pass i sit alone unless those forms familiar through the calms and storms of many a year of summer bloom and winter rude to all this loveliness and solitude command a presence here and there gliding in keep company with silence for a hymn i think they do as falls to dew but be it that they dwell afar beyond the range of sun or star and visit never more this pleasant spot we walk together it is not forgot their image starts from every niche tis there daguero typed upon the golden air from flower and tree they look at me low falls the sun and paler grows the air dark thickened as he goes till earth is blotted out beneath my gaze and not an object past my vision strays and sense of losing unsought visitant howering around each vacant space and haunt would break some spell yet it is well sweet mocking visions ye would leave as yonder sun the world at eve no light upon the midnight of my thought deep wrapped in gloom or in frenzy wrought unless a deeper recollection on me poured a wealth of knowledge in remembrance stored which giveth light 
on my heart's night. I love you, O oh, ye shades, but not, with full and final love, I wot, ye are but pictures of an absent face, not that the darksome grave doth so abase, beneath the damp and mouldering sod, but that which ever living ever looks on God. O oh, vision blessed, O oh, blessed rest! Fade then, thou sunlight, fade ye blooms, thou solid earth, fade out the glooms, of nothingness are naught, this mortal sense, that blind each grandeur of the sphere immense. How grand is welcome to depart, they cannot leave to vacant the heart, which sees afar, past sun or star, past day and night, the infinite light. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Launch of the Hiawatha by Mary Electa Adams Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson Away! Thou wert meant for a wave, fair thing, And thou sittest like ocean bird On the drifting tide with folded wing, Which the light wind had scarcely stirred. How bright is the sunshine, how joyous the tide, And how gaily he kisses thy prow! Come tell us, thou beautiful ocean bride, What is it he whispers thee now? Thou wilt not? Adieu, then, good speed, and away. But we trembling follow thy form. There's brightness and calm on the ocean to-day, To-morrow the wreck and the storm. I tell of the deep, the old deep, saith he, Of strange and the wondrous life, Where the ghosts of the tempest lurking be, And the elements laugh in their strife. On his white flashing mane, where the whirlwind raves, and may toss thee full high in the air, he may plunge thee in caverns of hollow waves, and bid thee lie down in his lair. But gentler, for lo, there are beauteous scenes which the hoary old ocean can show. There are things passing strange like our wizard dreams. Thou shalt find them wherever thou go. On a bright glassy sea where the dolphins play, and the sunshine on Zephyr's soft wings shall laughingly mix with the dancing spray which the sea god sportingly flings. Or out o'er the wide ocean desert thou sail, where the sea monster follows thy track, and the reefs and the breakers make ocean quail, and echo his grim howlings back. Thy tapering mass may be lightning wreathed, and the whistle of death through thy shrouds may chime with the thunders hoarsely breathed from the low and muttering clouds. Perchance thy dead canvas shall heavily flap on a windless and tideless shore, where the pestilence shakes from his poisoned lap the deaths he is keeping in store. Thy pennons may flutter on scented breeze by the groves of some Indian isle, or their stiffened folds among icebergs freeze where summer may never smile what countries of storied romance shalt thou see what lands that are lonely and bare what wonders of nature unheard of may be in the pathway o'er which thou shalt fare and wilt thou come back to us old very old with dark seaweed and shells on thy keel and ask to be mingled with earthly mould thy voyaging oar of woe or of weal or rent thy strong timbers and masts of pine shalt thou float in an open grave and drift in the currents of weltering brine at the will of the merciless wave or down sunken down below coral and pearl with the slow moving dregs of the sea rock darling where tempests their banners furl and quietly sleep beside thee Aha, but the wild ocean hath thee now, and no vision so weird that may see, with the fingers of destiny over his brow, what the ocean is keeping for thee. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Jesus Amor Meus by Mary Electa Adams. Read for LibriVox.org by claudia barrett jesus amor meus footnote engraved on the walls of the lollars tower london 
by a prisoner under ban of the roman church who holding fast his faith in spite of entreaties and torture was left finally to perish in solitude the sunlight gleams on the whitened walls of the ancient fortress keep and the step of midnight noiseless falls on those that smile and those that weep jesus amor meus the surging tide of life goes by but its roar is never heard and beneath the sunshine of the sky within those walls no breath hath stirred jesus amor meus the king in pageantry passeth now and the priest in saintly stall and the toil-stained man with sweaty brow and the homeless wretch with weary doll jesus amor meus the storm beats dark on the lollard's tower and its massive turrets shake the trembling steps of the passer cower the watchman's mail-clad heart doth quake jesus amor meus o dread the footsteps approaching now as yon black robe forms appear there's a little paleness on the brow but a lofty spirit calm and clear jesus amor meus what wait they for by that calm pale man neath the daylight's open glare with cross and wafer and priestly ban nor cross nor priest are needed there jesus amor meus with demon skull are the portals closed to the paths of living men but on loving arm that head reposed on which no day might dawn again jesus amor meus the death damp creeps from the mouldy wall on the stiffened limbs to cease and the leaden shadows slowly fall like coffin lid the heart to freeze jesus amor meus all spectral tortures gaunt and grim with the gleam of martyr fires o death in life ye cannot deem the goal to which that heart aspires jesus amor meus the lichen grows on the dungeon floor in the moisture dank and chill and the deep driven bolt is drawn no more but graven there one readeth still jesus amor meus End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Among the Foothills of the Rockies by Mary Electa Adams. Read for LibriVox by Frank J. Ard. Among the Foothills of the Rockies, come, let us walk. Tis of the summer day the long long summer day the lingering afternoon and nature here has phases all her own i would not miss swift swings the river down from yonder towering two-leaved mountain gates or hung with drapery of rose and pearl past winding slopes along the valley's length in deep concealment now now flashing by contemptuous of delay flinging a kiss in passing lost at length in hazy light what hands have leveled all those terraces that look upon his course now see aloft where swaths of shadow fall and slide among the gold upon the dimpled hills cadenced in their vast and rhythmic sweep by hollows and by seams that once were filled with rushing torrents see see how they lie fold upon fold in cycles of the past or wind or waves swept into glorious shapes and piled against the azure of the heavens these undulating lines like silenced waves taken in mid-course of their unrivalled leap to fix forever their unresting course seem to my eyes in the calm evenings still to palpitate away in the moving sky end of poem this reading is in the public domain
Remenis Violin by Maria Lecta Adams. Read for LibriVox.org by Christine G. Pretty jewelled thing, it seems to flash upon us than to turn and wait, in sympathy upon its downcast face, speak back again and laugh and weep and rave, with him as if it had been an answering soul, and as the heart deep stirred, turned tremulous to rest when silence came. Or seized me, and I marvelled how the hand that fashioned it with curious care in old Cremona nigh two hundred years ago reached deftly past the gulf of space and time, and with the artist wrought to make this tumult in my soul. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Refreshment by Maria Lecta Adams. Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Hast thou had hours when life seemed empty all, And waste the garden thou wert set to till, Like tide-swept sands that only white and still, Unanswering lay beneath the heaven's grey pall, No ripening fruit to offer at his call? Discouragement hath waited on the will, And did some human voice that brought a thrill Out of the silence on thy hearing fall? I could not rest till I had come to see and tell you how your life hath blessed mine own. Burst a cool spring, a heart, refreshed and free, went on its way under a smiling sun. If ever this had happened unto thee, thou knowest a joy that's next to God's. Well done. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.